The HB Project and the HB Channel are supported by Hi-Fi Clubben. That sound kills good music. It's been almost a year since I've reviewed the Blue Sound Note 2. A lot has changed since and if rumors are true they are not finished yet. So time for a short update report. If you don't know the Blue Sound Note 2, you might first want to watch the review. The release of Blue OS 2.0 earlier this year brought a large number of improvements. Many have to do with the user interface aimed at accessing the music easier, which became more and more a necessity since more and more sources were added. Calm Radio, Deezer, Groove Music, Juke, Murphy, Napster, Cobus, Radio Paradise, Slacker, Spotify, Tidal, TuneIn and Wimp as external sources. Add to that the facility to browse for network music collections in your own network. Since that update there have been more updates. My system shows version 2.6.2 and I didn't keep track of what was updated when. But I will tell you what you have now. Since you mainly control Blue Sound players using a smartphone or tablet, it is good to know that from version 2 onwards you need iOS 7 or higher, Android 4.0 or higher, but you can also use Kindle Fire. If you use a computer to control Blue Sound, you need Windows Vista or higher or Mac OS 10.7 or higher. There now also is an Apple Watch support, although I didn't check that since I don't have an Apple Watch. The user interface did change drastically and needed some getting used to, as always when a user interface changes. But I must say that it did improve the operational speed now you have the catalogs on the left and a long playlist on the right. If you like you can enlarge the cover art and when you tap the local menu there you get a list of possibilities like putting it in favorites, go to the album, go to the artist and links to the artist on streaming services. The left menu bar lets you select your source and there is now also a now playing screen while even more languages are supported. The user interface is important, but some updates in the player might even be of more importance. Like for instance the maximum capacity of the catalogue that went to 200,000 tracks. That won't be of importance to everyone, but for those that own enough music to appreciate this, me being one of them, this is most agreeable. As is the addition of MQA decoding. Whether MQA will become mainstream is still too early to say. Developments on MQA are promising, but I cover that in a separate video. Fact is that those who bought a Blue Sound streamer got MQA support as a free update. And it works fine, that is when you use modern, up to date speaker systems and amplifier. MQA improves the sound especially in the time domain. This leads to more detail, a better defined acoustic space, in short a more natural sound. But this doesn't work if you use a loudspeakers of poor design that have aged cones or capacitors or an amplifier that was hailed 30 years ago for having extreme low distortion figures for they often are achieved by large portions of global feedback and that kills time resolution. Not that you need an expensive set to hear the difference. I heard clear differences using my set 3. The modern short Avant 902 loudspeakers were around 200 euros 8 years ago and the NAD C316EE is about 350 euros. So it's not about the best equipment, it's about proper equipment. Just watch the MQA update to see what the developments are. If you have invested in a Blue Sound player, like the No2 player I have here, you have made a sound investment. Ok, that was a cheap joke, but I'm serious. Blue Sound supports almost all streaming services and seems to attempt to keep up with new services. 
The attractive update philosophy means that they take their customers serious. That also goes for other blue sound models and that is why they are still my preferred choice in this price range. Until something even better will come along, of course. So subscribe to this channel or follow me on Facebook, Twitter or Google Plus and you can also post questions there but please don't ask me for buying advice. See my questions video to find out why. You'll find more information below this video. If you like this video, please consider supporting this channel through Patreon and tell your friends on the web about it. I am Hans Beekhuizen, thank you for watching and see you in the next show or on the HBproject.com. And whatever you do, enjoy the music.